what's up heroes mike here and welcome to another elden ring build guide video and today i have for you my dark assassin dagger build yes yes i was trying to find a way to like you know essentially make daggers of some kind really cool to use in this game and we got about three in this build to use you'll kind of be alternating between uh some of the best honestly in the game in my opinion because there's not really much in terms of daggers overall that i found just to kind of give you an idea real quick before i go into the uh build here you know like this cause scarlet rod but i mean scarlet scarlet rod is very good better than poison but obviously some enemies are resistant to it uh blood build up but not much and overall daggers here are not that great most of them so there's only really a few in my opinion are really good and i got that today uh so let's go into the attributes first this is a level 150 build and i have vigor at 40 uh just to have at least that base i usually try to keep my build vigors between 40 and 60 at most because you definitely want at least a, a good chunk of health now i feel like you should not go lower than 40 when it comes to health and then mind at 30 so we have plenty of fp for incantations and weapon uh ashes of war and then endurance uh with this current setup able to get away with it being at 16. not too bad uh dexterity and strength oh sorry dex strength i left alone at the lowest uh stat is so wh whatever cl storm class you start with if your strength is lower than 11 it's fine leave it leave it be dexterity i got to 50. intelligence left alone same thing as strength just don't bother with it uh faith i have at 30. and then i got arcane to 50 but that's partially because of my headpiece which boosts eight points in it i'll get that in a bit so equipment black knight fully upgraded and a good thing about this now it does scale with uh dex mainly a little bit of faith there as you can see and a little bit of strength strength is the weakest thing but you want to focus on dex so this is why i decided to go for it the weapon skill Ash of war though is freaking awesome blade of death uh unleash the power of the rune of death to fire off a blade like projectile in addition to dealing immediate damage the blade reduces the enemies at maximum hp it continues to wear down uh, hp for a while so it's similar to like you know the black blade and stuff like that uh, but it's a dagger form in a sense so really really good it is only good against single targeted enemies though so just be aware of that and then as a backup actually before i get to that let's go to this one offhand uh reduvia this is an amazing dagger that does blood build up and good damage reduvia blood blade unique skill slash with the wicked dagger Transforming to never drying blood stains into airborne blades that cause blood loss can be fired in rapid succession. So you can just keep just firing us off, and it's gonna even I think stun enemies who are stacking. Well, maybe not completely stack, but definitely stun them, especially uh, shields too. And you just keep firing it off. Uh, fully upgraded has a blood loss build up of 89, so that's gonna. And you know how blood loss is so OP in this game. It's great. So mixed in with some blood, you know blood damage here with the. Uh, black knife ability here blade of death which also basically just wrecks hp now as a uh, sort of secondary here in the right hand i have the keen uh muzzle cord if i'm saying that right hopefully <laughs> and i decided to put flame of red mains uh ash of war on it because of the stagger ability and the fact that this dagger has the highest crit in the game highly recommend it especially with what i've got set up here for this build and then a dragon communication seal i know this got uh nerfed a bit but it does scale arcane and faith and those are what we're using mainly for our weapon skills and incantations as far as those attributes along with dex but obviously let's go dex but dex we got high enough for this all right so just put this on here to kind of help with arcane and faith being lower in our decks so the silver tear mask is what i got as the uh helmet piece here now, it increases arcane. It's increased arcane by eight, but it's at a detriment of physical attack power. But that's okay, because with the daggers, we're not going to be like, you know, fighting too much up close all the time. This is meant to be like an assassin build, so you're kind of going to be sneaky a bit, you know, trying to be quiet. Um, and if you do get in the big fights, when well, there's stuff in here to help you with that. And then I went with Knight's Cavalry Armor. This is kind of help with the theme of just like a dark assassin, knight assassin type th uh, thing, and Perceptor's Gloves, and then Knight's Cavalry Greave. So. That's why I went with if you want to like change up these three in some way, as long as you can still be fine with it and have a medium uh, load, you'll be good. Uh, so as far as talismans go, I have the Flox Canvas Talisman, 
As far as the great raise, greatly raise the potency of incantations, we need that for when we need to pull up some spells in this and incantations, and then dagger talisman for those enhanced critical hits because that's gonna be tie into this. I'll show you guys them later. And then blood loss and uh, sorry, Lord of Blood's exalt exaltation. This is gonna increase your attack power when blood loss is in the vicinity, so that combines with this. Fantastic. And then when you are attacking with just the blades, when you run out of FP. This is going to help raise your attack power and just do more damage overall. And I would highly recommend when you're doing that, like keep Reduvia up. But then you would probably want to switch to the Keen Miser Cord. So that, because this does the highest amount of damage and crit combined with this. So, just keep that in mind. All right. And then Flask, just have them how you ever want to with this build. Uh, let's go into the incantations that you will be using. All right, and perfect. Got a Knight Cavalry there. We're going to fight here in a bit. All right, so incantations. I got uh, Assassin's Approach. Uh, Silence your footsteps, reduces fall damage and sound. So it kind of helps with the theme of this. And then to kind of balance out the fact that, you know, our attack is brought down because of the helm piece, I got Golden, golden Vow in here to help increase attack and defense. And on, on top of that, combined with Flame, grant me strength for some extra physicality and, uh, sorry, attack power and just... Yeah, physical attack and firepower essentially raise that up. Uh, Bl Black Flames protection, which also can stack on Golden Vow, so had to you know get that in here to help with physical damage negation. And then we got Black Flame just to kind of toss out there. I know it doesn't like do as much damage as the I think Giant, the Giant's Flame, right? Yeah, Giant's Flame take the doesn't do as much, but it fits the theme I feel like. And Blood Flame Talons in here for that you know incantation blood damage. Didn't get really buffed in the latest patch, but still decent for if you're like close range and want to just use it and help get some blood uh, build up. Blood Boon, very still good. Love it, love it. Uh, it's just great to use in, with any type of like build like this where you got bleed involved. All right, let's go ahead and showcase what this can do against this boss. And whoop him. So I got the Miser Cord out. Oh my god, he hit me. I didn't even buff myself either. I said, nah, screw the buffs right now. <laughs> nah, I should use the buffs, but it's okay. I just wanted to show the damage only. Oh, is he stuck? I mean, I'll, you know. Oh, if he would have been closer, I would have staggered. You gonna stop hitting me. Oh, stop hitting me like that. You gonna stop doing that. Okay, maybe I should have buffed. Okay, time to show this bad boy off. And let's see, there he is. We're gonna mess with the Knight Cavalry. Uh, we're gonna take these guys out first. And we got the Miser Cord out first. Oh, that was just against one. I was trying to get multiple. There we go. You forget about that. That said, uh, this is good against them. Keep the feeling throw it out there. Hmm. Done. Uh, let's go ahead and buff ourselves though. Golden Val. And get ready. Oh! Come on, get over here. So he's not too close. May have to use uh, our black knife. Yep, that hit him. Jeez, a damage. Oh my God, look at that damage. 
Insane. And we're still doing good. He's almost dead and he's still just eating. Mmm. Mmm. Sit down, boy. Sit down. See? And to further showcase this off a bit here. Just because I'll rather take out some regular enemies too here. Actually, let me get my horse. Because I meant to show reason why you had the flame of red mains on the uh, miser cord is for the stagger and stun. All right. Oh, wrong thing. All right, come here. Come here. Let's see, this will work. Huh? There we go. There we go. Hmm. Took him out. No problem. And again. It's amazing. And with the assassin, the dagger talisman to increase crit damage, you're going to be just m melting through these enemies. I even show it against giants. It's great against giants. Oh, trolls, I mean. Sorry, I keep calling them giants. That's what they look like to me, not trolls. So this should take about two hits. Oh. And you should get a guaranteed stagger like this every two to three hits, the pain. Usually on boss fights and, you know, enemies like this. It's mainly good against bosses and big enemies like trolls like that uh you may be wondering like, what about incantations i mean we still got you know our incantations you can use too in the fight as well if you want probably not as effective because that's a wide area there but if you want to use the blood flame towns though be a bye troll Bye. <laughs> and if you want to get physical, like I said, uh, you can do that too. When you need to, and you run out of FP or something like that, let's just try it against the troll, because why not? I just want to. That damage, though. And you're going so quick. You're attacking so fast that Rotten Wing Sword of Sydney is going to kick in very fast and increase your damage output. It's so good. Through your stomping. The only bad part is you gotta be super close, obviously, but... That's probably one of the big drawbacks about this build, is you gotta be super close when you wanna just do melee damage, but here's the thing. Just be smart and start off with the weapon skill ability first when you go in, when attack or an incantation and then just follow up with a physical attack when you get close and you'll be fine so i hope you guys enjoyed this video of this build today if you did please drop a like and subscribe if you're new i got more build videos coming at you my name is mike and i'll see you next time <laughs>